Nabatao's uh, Bill Rodeo Nabatao's Bill Rodeo on Sports. Um, talk about how the third quarter really made the difference in what you guys did to uh, take the victory. Um, it was our second uh, group that came in: Dame, Clay, Brad, Bill, uh, Lamarcus, um, you know Ben Simmons. Um, you know they came in and Cat. They came in and just changed the whole complexion of the game. We got stops, and uh, you know obviously Dame and Clay got caught fire from behind, the, you know behind the arc, and that allowed us to get back into the game and, and actually take a lead, a one point lead going into the fourth. Next question, Joe on the left side. Joe Varden, The Athletic. Um, where are you health-wise right now? And then from a broader perspective, you know typically around starting now how you play for the rest of the season, how you kind of kick it up a notch. Uh, I, feel, are, I feel great. Sorry to cut you off, Joe, but I feel great. Looking forward to the second half of the season um, and looking forward to you know, see what we can do uh, to get back in this playoff race. That's my only mindset. Um, you know, That's the only thing that's going to have my mental space uh, for this next two months, you know, pretty much on uh, how I can get this team, you know, playing the type of level of basketball we were playing before my injury. LeBron over here on your right. Uh, what, what did it mean to you to to have Dwayne on the court and then catching some of those lobs from him today? Uh, it meant everything. You know, obviously, like I've been saying the last couple of days, it's been a bittersweet moment for me uh, with him. You know, the bitter part is obviously this is our last time being on the same floor together and playing a game that we love so much. And, you know, obviously all the memories that we have both as competitors, both as teammates and, and so on and so on throughout, you know, playing here in the States, playing abroad with the Team USA and just doing what we've been doing for so many years. And then the sweet part about it, just, um, you know, seeing him being able to go off on his own term, um, you know, say when he's done and nobody forced him out or, or or didn't think of that nature, you know, he's able just to hang it up when he was ready to hang it up and, and be, be at peace with it all. So that's a, that's, that's real sweet of it. Over here on your right again. LeBron, to assess Kimba's development, you know, his first NBA All-Star start happens to be on his home court. How have you seen him develop over the several years? Uh, first of all, that's incredible to be able to have your first All-Star start in your home building. Um, it doesn't happen like that a lot. And uh, for that to be, you know, today, uh, for Kimba has been great. Um, he's a all-time leader in points for a reason, um, but he's made you know this franchise um, you know relevant because of his maturation process and the way he's continued to get better and better each and every year. So um, you know it's just great to see um, you know what he's been able to do year after year after year, continue to get better and better and better with his game and also with his leadership. On your left in the front row, LeBron. I know you and Coach Malone go way back. How would you evaluate his uh, coaching performance in a game like that? Uh, great. Uh, he was unbelievable, brought back a lot of memories for myself, just all the years that we had back in my early days in Cleveland, back in his early days coaching. And, um, you know, definitely miss him, you know, miss being around him every day, uh, miss the fire that he brings to the game, you know, miss his mental side of the game as well. So uh, to be able to have this weekend, these last couple of days with him has been, a, has been a very good treat. Ken, last question, back left. Ken Berger, Bleacher Report. Um, LeBron, you, you seem to really embrace the challenge of guarding Giannis down the stretch, and then there was a sequence where you tapped your chest and hit the step back over Joel. Um, wh where did the competitive fire come from for you personally tonight? Uh, you put me on the floor, I love to compete. I'm a competitor, no matter what it is. Um, you know, I was competing to see if I can get to this table first. Uh, did anybody come here before me? No. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> See you all the second half of the season. All right. Thank you.